City, across Australia on the National Nine Network, through Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide and Perth, it's tonight with Bert Newton. And now, here's Bert. Enough. Blessings upon you all. Good evening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, who would have thought that on the, what is it, the 21st of May, 1984, I'd be sitting here in this Channel 9 studio and be saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet my very good friend in our Hollywood studios, Mr. Don Lane. But that's exactly what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, Here's Don. You got it. <laughs> you hear that? Thank you. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been great talking to you, Don. <laughs> Thank you very much and good night. Good night. <laughs> well, it, I tell you what, one of your favourite catch cries was, I love your face, but I tell you what, just seeing your face again tonight, I speak for so many people in saying that it really is beautiful to see your face again. Thank you, Bert. And it's nice to hear your voice. I haven't heard it for a long time. It's still raspy. <laughs> <laughs> Ever so raspy. It was the opening number yeah. I had to do, Don. Listen, something you, never th are you, something you thought you would never hear me say. I want to know all the football scores. <laughs> do you really? Well, it just happens I've got them here. South Sydney is 10th yeah. on the ladder. They haven't won too many games. Mm -hmm. Melbourne yeah. are, as I recall, they are 10th on the ladder also. Mm -hmm. But Melbourne and Fitzroy played on Saturday. Yeah. And you trounced us. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. What is it? Novelty week. No, they're playing 21 a side now. Oh, Don, they? <laughs> Don, look, forget about the football. I got out yeah. of bed, which is hard enough for me anyway, a couple of weeks ago, picked up the paper, and, and I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Don Lane right. marries. Yeah. Give yeah. us the story. Um, what do you want to know about? Well, how's Jane? <laughs> Jane who? <laughs> the girl you married, plain Jane Lane. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, you don't understand. I didn't get married and there isn't any Jane. I did that because oh. um, I, I, I wanted Don. to get publicity and get Don. on the show. Uh, please. So I told no. everybody <laughs> that I got married, which is the only way that I could possibly get on a show. Actually, uh, the girl I was going to marry was a psychic, but I thought that would be too close. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, because Doris Stokes told me all this this afternoon. <laughs> Don, where and when and how uh, were you married? Ah, we got uh, married in Las Vegas. Um, uh, Jane and I went to Las Vegas, which is the best way, if you want to get married, is to go together. And uh, we, we went to Las Vegas, and uh, we got married, and we stayed there two or three nights, and then we came back. But I'll talk to you about that when, uh, when she gets out here. She's right. outside. Because she's having the baby, you see, every hour is the festival of nausea. <laughs> and, uh, and it's a wonderful experience waking up in the morning and you say, how are you, dear? And she goes, and takes off. <laughs> it's terrific, really. I'm very excited, actually. I'm going to be a father. Yes. Uh, very... <laughs> Aren't you looking forward to it? Oh, yes, sure. We've I'm worked it out. Forward to it. When looking the child is... When the child is 50, you'll be 101. That's right. <laughs> it's perfect, actually. We were working that out the other day. We were talking about what the age differences would be, and it's just about my ratio. Was it, uh, uh, was it a great surprise to you? Yeah. Uh, when, like I said, when she gets out here, uh, or when Jane comes out, we'll let you tell you how we found out that she was pregnant and everything. It's fairly funny. It's, uh, it came as a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dom, no, the, the question is... It's really... 
Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. yeah, we keep talking over each other. This is like talking long distance on the phone. You go, hey, hey, oh, hey. What do you mean? We did, we did eight and a half years of that live here in the studio. <laughs> Don, what yes, about... Yes, that's right. What, we just did it again. What about, uh, <laughs> what about the feeling over what there in LA? Pardon? What are you... What, no, what are you, uh, you, I, you, I, you, you got... Wait, wait, I, you I, I, no, uh, but, uh, yeah, I know what... Uh, you go. The, okay. I forgot what I wanted to ask you. <laughs> Don, what about the, it, the feeling over there in, uh, in LA, or America particularly, about the, the games and the Russians not coming? Oh, about the Olympics, you mean? Yeah. Oh, it's like, it's almost like they didn't make any decision. It's really funny. Uh, this Peter Uberoff, you know, Uberoff is the, uh, the president of the uh, uh, American Olympic Committee. Uberoff, it sounds like something the Russians told him to do, isn't it? <laughs> you know? Yeah, comrade, Uberoff, you know? So, uh... Uh, he, uh, they'll have to laugh quicker. It's on a delay. Um, the, Is that better for the you? Americans, the Americans here are all annoyed. I think the majority of people are really aggravated at Jimmy Carter for having made his decision in Moscow. Then other people write articles. They say, uh, uh, it was stupid of the Olympic people anyway to do it Moscow one year and America the next year. And then Korea, of course, is going to be the following Olympics. Uh, I think the feeling in the United States basically is you can't pick up any supplement to any newspaper. You can't pick up any newspaper without reading about the Olympics are on and we're going to go ahead. World records are world records, no matter where you break them or against whom. And uh, I think they're just taking the attitude they're going to get on with it. There's a lot of things going on here uh, for the Olympics. It's only 13 weeks away. And uh, our ex-producer is uh, producing the opening ceremony. Who's that? Uh, uh, oh. what was Rick, Rick, Rick Birch. Oh, Rick Birch. Yeah. Oh, I beg your pardon. The bloke used to... Oh, yes. That, well, he wasn't here all that long, was he? Yeah. But and he's, well, no, he's, he's doing the, the Olympic Games. The, yeah, he's the guy you, you got fired. That's right. Yeah. Well, I'm pleased yeah. to know he's kicked on. <laughs> <laughs> Don is... <laughs> is, is, uh, is Robbie Robinson there at all? Yeah, yeah, man, he's here. <laughs> Hollywood, anybody's here, you know. So. We're going to take this break, then I want to come back, and I want what? you to Already? introduce... Oh, yes. wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Now, just a minute. Yeah. I know this trick. Yeah. You're going to give me a short segment now and a long one later, aren't you? Well, I want to, I want to give a long one to Jane, because most of, our, of Australia <laughs> have, not, have not seen uh, Would Jane. you rephrase that, please? Uh, Did I give the wrong name? Jane, didn't I? Oh, no, no, what? you said you want... No, no, uh, you said no, you want to give a long one. I'm with one you. To... I'm sorry, I beg your yeah. pardon. I, I must My mention luck, to you too. Things have changed now, Tom. Everyone's working clean. How did, how, did, <laughs> how did Patty take the news? Patty who? <laughs> oh, the psychic, yes. No. Patty That's was one, ab yeah. she cried, as a matter of fact, Don. She, did she really? She absolutely when she got the news, I gave it I gave her the news in reverse. I said, <laughs> Don is going to become a father. And she said, Oh my yeah. god, no. <laughs> and I said, But yeah. he's married. And she said, Oh, isn't that yeah. wonderful? So she's absolutely thrilled, she's in tears. I believe. I, of course, we were divorced three months ago, but uh, that was the... <laughs> look, I'll take this break. I'll take this break, Don. And then, hey, I'll be right back. Have we got hey a show oh, for you, hey Don? Oh, hey, hey, ho! Oh, hey, 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 oh. ho! Hey. Our guest this evening in our Hollywood studios is Don Lane. Don, I don't think... I don't think our viewers can wait any longer. What about introducing us to the, the beautiful Mrs. Don Lane? Right. Well, it's not really Mrs. Don Lane. We have to talk about that. Actually, her new name is uh, Jane Isaacson. And uh, she used to work at, uh, at Channel 9 uh, in the sales department. She's a sales executive there. And, uh, and that's where we met. But for you people to have a look at her, and I'm very proud of her too, this is the, uh, my wife and the mother of my about-to-be child. Here's Jane Isaacson. Come on here. Um, Jane, Bert, Bert, Jane. Bert and I are old friends. We know each other. Yes, what? yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the last what? laugh on you, Don. Yes, what's yes. going on here? Eh? Do you want, do you want to know what the absolute truth? Jane and I what? are very old friends, but only platonic. And uh, ah. I was yeah, absolutely uh, knocked out by the news, Jane. You've, 
he's got a beautiful girl, and I know you've got a, a wonderful man. But now you tell us your side of the story. Who chased who? Well, I, uh, I, I think he did a little more chasing than I did. I, I'm not too sure, although I've always carried a torch for Don. But uh, it was that sort carried of... a torch. That sounds like a romance is over. No, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, she's from Perth. Well, there's nothing yeah, wrong well, with that, Don. It's a lovely place. Studios. Yeah. What about we met in the studios. What about living over there? What sort of tips did Don give you, Jane, to you know, living in America? Because obviously you'd have to make some adjustments. Well, I, uh, it's, it's very similar to back home. It, it, nothing's really changed at all since we were back in Melbourne, really. The language barrier. Well, there's a, there's a slight language barrier. Nobody understands me. <laughs> I, I'm slowing down for you now, but normally I speak a little faster, and uh, there's a huge language barrier, but uh, it's nice to have an accent. Jane, I see, where, I see where Don was his generous old self. You had, what, two days in Las Vegas for your honeymoon? <laughs> well, we had to get home in a hurry, believe me. Wait a minute, wait, we tell, had, it, tell we, him about... We had to get home in a hurry because he had taped a ball game, so... <laughs> I don't... Is that... Did you, did that, you go back to Los Angeles because you wanted to see was, a ball game? Sure. Yeah. Sure, yeah. that was our honeymoon, sitting watching a hockey game. Oh, <laughs> that is terrible. Uh, no, what happened was it, it was pretty dull there in Vegas anyway because it was a strike on and all of that. We thought, well, we'll get out of here. But I said, well, that's good. I want to get back anyway because I taped the hockey game and I want to see it. <laughs> Don, I don't know so why. Did, but she's, well, I was just going to say, Jane, uh, Don told us, I don't know why he thinks it's so intriguing, but uh, we'd love to hear it. Uh, he wants you to tell the story of how you became pregnant. No, no, not how we became pregnant, Bert, but that's, I mean, if you don't know by now, you're never going to know, Bert. That's it. No, how we found out was quite funny. I woke up one morning with a slight pain where your appendix are. And uh, I thought, gee whiz, this isn't getting any better. And I went to the doctor the next day and I said, look, could you please check it out? I think I've got appendicitis. And he said, well, I don't think it's appendicitis. I think it could be something else. So they took blood and we went out for dinner that night and we got home. There was an, uh, a message on our answering machine and it said, uh, Mrs. Isaacson, uh, your blood test was positive. You're pregnant. And, <laughs> Which and was a surprise had... to us because we thought we were going to have a nice little appendix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the true story. So, yeah, uh, listen, we got something we want to show you about the house and stuff. You want to show them the house? Uh, my chauffeur's here. No, we want to show them the, the thing first. Uh, uh, Farn John, I got a chauffeur that uh, that travels with us. So we go. Would you? Yeah. Would you just pull the uh, pull the thing back back there, like the curtain? Would you just get the curtain? Back? Who's that chauffeur? Yeah. Yeah. Just just take that back. Yeah. Go ahead. This is our this is our. Uh, well, I'll just step back for a minute if we can. There we go. This is our. Uh, this is our house that we rented. There's another, there's an actor living in it at the moment, but they think he might get out in about a year. <laughs> and, uh, and it's a, and it's a, and it's a, look, yeah, that's good. Thank you, Farn John. Yeah. And um, that's our, our show for Farn. Can we have a drink, uh, Farn John, if you wouldn't mind? Thanks very much. I'd appreciate it very much. Some coffee? No, no, it's okay. We don't <laughs> need a pickle. No, I don't want a pickle. No, it's all right. Who's just, that just, chauffeur, Don? Just, <laughs> that's my chauffeur. We've, uh, we've had him here for a while. Sit. Oh, <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> he's just a bit clumsy. He's new. To, he's new to the country. Don't worry about that's it. That's the that's right. the home in the background. What about what about your mum, well, Dolly? I want to show you. Just a minute. I bought a car for uh, for uh, Jane. Yeah. Let me show you the car. Can we see the car. There is. There's the car. There. It's just a. a little, oh, it's uh, lovely. I'll, t yeah. I'll tell you what, Don. We'll come to an arrangement. One yeah. side one sight gag from you and one question from me. Is that okay? Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just want to show you this. This is uh, after the wedding. This was a little thing. We had the best man and the... Uh, and the uh, right. It got just a little hairy. Yeah. This, is my, this is my household help that we hired. It's very Jewish in Beverly Hills. Uh, yeah. This is oh, Abraham hang on a sec. And, Let me see that one again. Right. Hold it up again, please, Don. <laughs> is that Dolly in the middle? No, no, no. I'll show you that in a minute. We actually sent a photographer to Florida to get my mother's reaction when I called her on the phone and told her that I got married, and she was absolutely thrilled. She just... <laughs> uh, she's delighted. And uh, the boys in here asked me to show this group photo they took. This is who works in the studio here, so you can have a good look at what goes on. This is a good chance for us, by the way, to thank Libby Reeves, Purdy, and Chris Cavanaugh for setting this up, because it's very late there, isn't it, Don? Yes, it is, and they did a, they did a lovely job. We had a great time here. By the way, the other secret is uh, the baby, of course, is due, Bert, around uh, December the 25th. Mm. This could be it, kid. Mm. <laughs> December the 25th. Yeah. Yes. No, we're not fine, John, yet. No, it'll be a couple <laughs> of minutes yet. Huh?
You can actually pull it back if you want. You slide back. Uh, the thing I wanted to tell you, Bert, was that the big news is that the baby is not really coming. In reality, it, just close it over, Fonzo. That's right, yeah. In, in reality, the, uh, <laughs> in reality, the, uh, the, ba the, uh, the baby is already born, and I'd, I'd like you to see him. We have him here with us in the studio. Uh, here he is. This is Freddie, <laughs> our little boy, and, and we thought you'd really like to, uh, to see him. Uh, Freddy, Hello, Freddie. Freddy, goo, 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 ga, 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 ga. <laughs> oh, good. Freddy. He's cracking for Bugs Bunny. I, this is a cast of thousands over there, Don. Oh, sure. Everybody is over here. Farn John, our chauffeur, and Freddie the baby, and Please all of Please let me They're ask you, wonderful. what about Dolly? Did she get to the wedding? No. Can you believe it? My brother's been married twice, and this is my second marriage. That's four weddings, and she didn't get invited to any of them. <laughs> 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 now, see, what happened was uh, we met uh, in well, Arizona, right? We, oh, no, I met your mother in Australia for yeah, a while. And then, and then, we, then, uh, and then we went to... Uh, excuse us a minute. Sure. And then, and then we went to... Uh, and then we went to Arizona. Well, she got to know me in Arizona. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. You're a very attractive and, uh, woman. You always said that John Tory is over to 50. Yeah. 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 Are we... Are we uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. I was just having a chat with Pete Smith here. Very interesting oh, man. Uh, Don, Pete Smith, is he still working? Yeah, still working oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Don. Oh. Hello, Peter. How are you? Good, thanks. Congratulations to you both. Thank you very Thank much, you, Pete. Peter. The Just insemination worked. <laughs> <laughs> Don, uh, that what? time has come. I've got to say bye-bye to you. Um, I can't tell oh. you what a thrill it's been to, uh, to be with oh, you again this good. evening, even though many thousands of miles are, are between us. Um, are it's you happy? Terrific. It's terrific. Let me tell you something. Uh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy and I'm very active. <laughs> and it's terrific hearing your voice. And more important of all, it's terrific knowing you got your own show at this time of night. And you know and I know that nobody wishes you more luck than I do in it. That's the truth, too. Can I, uh, Thanks, Don. Listen, just one favor. Um, uh, I, know, I, know, um, I know how you feel about this, Bert, and I know how you don't like to do this, but would you mind, please, I if think... we just gave one Cheerio? No, so, sorry, Don, no Cheerios on this program. Well, uh, I suppose by... Just... Yeah, okay, by satellite, one quick Cheerio. One quick cheer. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah. That's fine. I want to say hello to Jenny that's Jobson and Esperanza and Margie Bromelow, my good friend. Hey. Hey. Smith, my hey. former hey. agent up Jack there. Lee. All of the that people from Bruce. South Sydney. Yeah. I do like to say Ladies Michael and gentlemen, James in our Hollywood Jerry studios, Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Don Lane with friends. And Ronda McCormick and Dino and Tim Evans and Mike McCormick and Stephen Hawking and Boomer Christo and Colin Stevenson and Brian Hack. I want to say hello to Melbourne Football Club. Come on, hold on one second. And Rick Willaney and Hold on one second. Smith, you got it anymore, you ran out. As we say, as we say goodnight, Don, of course. It would be unforgivable of me not to ask you to give that special farewell greeting you gave for so many years to people uh, who watch you with sign language. Good night. <laughs> I love your faces. Take it easy, guys. All the best, guys. All the best, Don. And thank you, mate. God bless you, Jane. <laughs> thank you, Jane. Good night. <laughs> Okay. It's wonderful talking to, uh, to Don. Seems an appropriate time to say that uh, the eight and a half years that Don and I spent together were certainly the, the happiest of, uh, of my television life. And that girl, Jane, uh, she is knockout, and I know they're going to be very, very happy together. That was, you've got to tell, that was Johnny Farnham, wasn't it? But my monitor went a little strange, went green and gold and all sorts of colours. I think it's about time we lined up an interview with, uh, with Johnny, uh, because he's doing so well over there with the Little River Band. And maybe even one night this week, I know it's late, it's what, almost 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the morning or something, but maybe we'll get some news through this evening, seeing that Johnny's there, grab him over yonder and see if, uh, if he'll say yes. John, can you hear me? John, where... Mate, I'm not going to do... Wasn't it terrific? Oh, great. Just hang on one sec, ladies and gentlemen, because we really are about to lose the satellite uh, physically. John, could you come back to that studio at the same time tomorrow night and be with us? No, I'm sorry, Bert. I'm very busy now. <laughs> I'd love to. Will you do it? Will you do it? Yes, definitely. We'll talk to. to you then. Johnny Farnham.
I will take this commercial break, and just at that moment, I think we lost the satellite. We're back, we're back with you. We're back with you soon after this break.